Hey guys, how's it going? Mangachu here from Tempo Storm. Uh, today we're going to be going over something a little bit different from my other videos. I usually like to talk about holding or attacking points as Farah, but today we're going to be talking about Torbjorn. Uh, while Torbjorn is a very uncommon character, I consider Numbani first to be debatably his best map. There are a lot of clever turret spots, but one thing that you have to keep in mind is you have to use all of them. You can't always build your turret in the same spot, or else it's going to uh, not work out. Uh, one place that I like to build my gun is right here. This is usually where I build my first gun every time. What this does is it blocks people from the initial push from top right. Uh, it also defends along to a certain extent, and it defends the point. Downsides to it though is if somebody pushes the top left and sits over there, say Genji, the gun dies very easily. Unless if you have people holding close and maybe they can get a punish, you can also spam that person, but majority of the time it's not going to work out. Uh, what I like to do though is I like to leave the gun alone and I like to hold up here. What this does is if there are people holding up here with you, you can defend them by using your right click to say if a Winston jumps. Or you can get a really easy spam choke right here. It allows you to get some easy headshots. It also allows you to watch along with your gun. And top left. Uh, once that gun dies, I like to rotate it to right here. Well, a little bit forward though, around this area. Uh, what it does is it allows you to watch the point. Still watch top right. Uh, watch a little bit more of top left. And a little bit of main. Uh, what this gun does lose to is peeking through main, as well as peeking through long. Very easy to try to spam. That's pretty much the biggest problem with Torb, is his stuff dies very easily to spam. Uh, you can also put it right here. This is more of a just mainly defending the point, and defending top right. Um, it doesn't really do that good job of watching long, and it doesn't really watch main in the slightest, so... It's more of a uh, just playing around the your team kind of gun. Um, once the fight is over, which would usually be around the time that you get your gun on either side here, I usually like to set it back up over there and then rotate down here. Once my gun dies, I drop it right here. Uh, what it does is it watches the point entirely. Nothing really is going to be able to peek at you without being shot at it, unless if you're sitting maybe all the way back here. But if you're going to be sitting back here spamming a gun, I'm not sure how useful you are. And the last two places I like to put my gun are in the back over here. Uh, what this does right here is it watches the point, watches top right, and the stairwell in the back right. Uh, they're similar to that gun. There isn't really any spot that you can just peek it and not take damage. And this spot, it's a little bit more elevated, so it has a better angle. But it's a little bit more exposed to spam, so it's kind of a compromise. And yeah. If you enjoy some Torbjorn content, I'd appreciate it if you were to like and subscribe to the channel. This might not be a common thing, uh, seeing as how Torbjorn isn't really a staple in the meta. Once he becomes a little bit more common, I might go over more videos. But for now, this seems to be the only point that I consider viable for him. If you do have any questions about Torbjorn, though, you can go ahead and post them in the comments. I'll respond to them as soon as I can. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks again for watching.